Hello, everybody. Welcome <laughs> to some more Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Last episode. We. <sighs> Sorry. Oh. Oh my goodness, Mario, would that be an email from Princess Peach? <laughs> my dear Mario, I finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It is the spirit of a demon. The X-Nox plan to revive the sesame old monster and use this power to take over the wall. They're connecting the crystal stars so they can open the sesame door. They'll find this demon spirit, but the only thing they keep is locked in the crystal stars themselves. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Mario, you must put it a step to all the plans. It speaks. Uh, an ancient demon spirit? Hmm. Plot twist. Uh, I seriously forget. Oh, gosh. Ah! Ah! I don't have, do I have a spike badge? No, I do not. <laughs> I have not played this game in months. Yeah, I can still nail this. Oh god. Oh gosh, my star point counter is this. Uh, that takes me to the surface. So, uh, there's some stuff in World Park we still have to do. Uh, what today? Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. There's a pipe that goes down more, but we're not going there yet. You guys can see we can't get up there, so. Oh! Okay, that was pretty good. I tried to avoid the spine spin thing and I fell in the water. This says fails and hilariousness going on here. Ah, dang it. I'm not going through this part yet. Uh, what badges do I have equipped? Give me a second, I'm gonna figure this out now. Let's see, I saw that 10 and 5 HP. Flower, HP, 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 Alright, so the next one should be HP. That seems about right. What badges do I have equipped? Oh, I've. Okay, this might be helpful. I'll wait for now. Ah, fine. I'll get out of the way now. I don't think it was this long, that's weird. And look at this. Oh, it's chapter four of the... So, the, the, this and the first game have the same chapters. 
But hurry, don't you think we should go to the professor's office? Chapter one has a. Uh, I spent a minute. Let's have know about the about the princess's email. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? <laughs> that scream! I'm not gonna scream. It's falling. I guess. I guess. I guess. That that was written in Princess Peach's email. The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon. And those fiends want to use the power of the crystal stars to resurrect it. How oh, bone chilling. Sally it does seem to be cons consistent with what I've uncovered. What have you found out, Professor? <coughs> My voice is like wasky right now. This is my well launch, so you better listen well. All of you ready? And you there, in front of the TV, you listen up too. Get ready, here comes some of the fourth wall breaking in this game. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something. Are you talking to no one? Oh, never mind, you mind. Never you mind. Don't worry about such trivia details. Let's listen! The great chasm that I write about in the book may well refer to this demon! It says that a monster destroyed a large town that once on this very area. It also said that the seven crystals are actually created by this monster. I forgot about that. <laughs> this game since 2011. 12, 13, around now. <laughs> So long, oh my god. And that this thing used the power of the crystal to try to control the war. According to this book, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes. But only the beast's physical form was destroyed, its spirit could not be eradicated. So the heroes used the crystal stars that they had stolen from the demon, and they cast the evil beast into the depths of a vast maze and sealed the exit. From this, I gather that the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So if they all are united, they can either steal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that who wields the crystal stars determines if they're used for evil or good. I guess we are considering not collecting crystal stars then. It would be awful if we found them all in time for, for evil purposes. I'm just now noticing Vivian's lower half as like lines. Is there anything it might just be better to destroy the monster for all? That was my first thought too, but thorough research suggests that we can do that. There's a slight possibility that the thousand year door is weakening. It seems the crystal stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed shut will fail. Unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year of bad luck, huh? The fact that those goons watch the stars now may not may not be co coincidence, but maybe not. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the X not fail. Oh, I guess we better find the rest of the crystal stars then, huh? Where will we do start? Hmm, according to the map, there appears to be someone on Key Hall Key. I believe that's on parody of Kiesta Key. <laughs> I've actually been there. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, I need a break. Hang on. <coughs> key Hall Key? I'm not too familiar with this place, but I've heard countless unfair rumors. You know, the usual stuff. Vengeful spirits full of hatred, evil courses, things like that. I'm sure the sea sorts down by the harbor no more. You should head there first. Alright! Hang on. So first up, we have seven science sprites. Let's upgrade Vivian.
There, then you may go. Alright, so <laughs> we want to go to the help center. Maybe because of something we collected on chapter 4 that was optional. This cookbook. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> I got a notification on my phone. I was looking away. Why I gotta... Oh wait, I don't... Oh, why? Seeking the legendary book. I want you to go find the legendary cookbook for me. It's in a pretty scary place, so there's no way to an old guy like me could get it alone. Please come to my house and I'll put you for details. Hey! <laughs> So there's uh, some things we can find with Vivian. We have 250 coins, so... It's so like the sound sounds like a pig. Yes, indeed. It's oh, yes, a deal, Sneaky. You get a slide up telling pigs to no extra dough. Ah, here it is. What is this called? 64 bucks. This is a book full of Ouija. Fee corner. Sometimes I think I'll be better off not even speaking. Oh, I wish I was still a pig. Mobile depressed. Try hard. <laughs> Toad bro is better than. Uh, uh, let's see what he has. No. I'll get the Ultra Shroom for later. Now, I don't have much money now, buddy. Now, let's go to Zest Tea. Hey, you took all my trouble, which really put to listen up, Mr. Cut. <laughs> That's a taste. Ace ago, there was a great step. Legendary Seth named Birch Emptiness. <laughs> I'm just botching the dialogue today. <laughs> Rumor has it you instantly become a bear Seth by reading his book. But it's an old book that's hard to find, so those can't carry it. But I've recently heard that someone who used to live in Creepy Sleep had a copy. There are many secret rooms in Creepy Sleep, so it's moldering there somewhere. I just have to have the book. Do you find the cookbook? Ah, that's it. That's a book by Matthew Davis. Give it here, quick. Ha! I, I see. Aha! Do the dee do the do the dee dee. Da -dee. <laughs> I never got the sound effects represent. Got now. This place is most of a set for a yummy honey shroom. Brilliant. Like you use that require two ingredients. Now that's some book talk about fucker. Thanks, Mr. Stagger. Take this as your reward. Honey shroom. Now, uh. Let's get some bonus stuff here in World Point. Now that we have, uh, Vivian. And I'll complete chapter 4 this stuff you can do. First up over in this house? Now, quote me one. Yup, this is the right one. Right here, you see the walls out place, little? And I go through here. And you come into someone else's house.
I was looking at my notes, I typed these down. Uh, what am I here? I got odds. <laughs> Bless! No! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I picked the walk that they use it. Okay. Trying to multitask here. <laughs> I don't even know if you can win the lottery. Good thing your uh, character doesn't affect your chances of losing. Now, did I get all the secrets here? I forget, really. I did, okay. Now, once you get over here, you can't get past here, but... That's so why you have this. Okay, Dazzle. My name is Dazzle. What do you have first? I'll get... Yeah, I'll get this badge. It's a whatever kind badge this one. There was not much you can do yet. As you guys can see, we still have a lot of areas accessible to us. So for now, I'm just gonna go in here, go down this pipe, try to remember where exactly we have to go. Ah, it's this room. Now, no, we cannot possibly go in this yet. As you guys can see, these nails come out. Oh! Yeah, go, 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 go! Ah! <laughs> you get the spike shield bads! Ah. Uh. Ah, dang it. I don't need. I'll okay, let me equip the, the ice mask badge right now. There's a badge we'll get later on that you want to equip when we get it. Oh boy. Go, 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 go. Whoop! Yeah! Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh. Let me, I'm, I'm making saw. Let's see, we got all those saw pieces. I think we I think we got to with all of them. Oh, we're almost 19 minutes in, okay. Uh, anything else we need to do in this part? I don't think so. Because this is no help. Okay. Oh. That's enough for this episode of Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, ladies and gentlemen. Since we, uh, there's pretty much something else we can do in this episode. Next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, we will open up Chapter 5. I'll see you guys then.